Hello, how are you guys doing today? So it's been a while since I have hopped on here to make a video. I've been busy with some other things, um, just kind of getting some other things together. But I'm really, really excited about today's video. So what I have here, I have a ton of paint brushes because I love to paint. And so I will be painting this beautiful painting that I recently designed. Well, not designed, but the concept. It's, um, it's more of a shape-based concept, but um, I will try to definitely show you guys the end result of that. Might be in another video, but oh well. Um, <laughs> but while I paint this, I thought it would be really good, just a really interesting idea to go ahead and um, watch this video from Tati Westbrook is her last name. So here's a, like a little briefing, you guys. I'm not super into, I, I'm not gonna lie, disclaimer, I'm not super into the whole YouTube beauty community. Um, and when I, what I mean by I'm not super into it is I don't keep up with typically until here recently, I don't really keep up with like news or what's going on within the beauty community or anything like that. I know that they have a bad rep and it seems to always be drama upon drama upon drama. And for some reason, these YouTube, um, these YouTube names or creators can't seem to just stick to doing their job, which is makeup, right? It seems like they just have to be so dramatic about things. So anyway, that for, that's from what I know, that's kind of what I hear as far as the beauty community goes. So, but do I watch a lot of this beauty stuff? No, not really, because guess what? Like I'm black and there's not that much out there that I can relate to, especially when it comes to Tati, Tati Westbrook. Like, I, she has very limited content that um, I would, you know, be able to, like, take and, and fully apply for myself. So I don't really um, watch her stuff. I don't buy her products. I've never believed in her products. I've always thought that her products were trash. Sorry. But I have. I've just always felt like you know, she buys like the products in mass and stamps her name on them and then takes advantage of her, um, uh, I don't want to say followers, but of her following um, and then charges an arm and a leg for it. So I've always found that so gross and just like ridiculous because it's one thing to up the price on something because you, I mean, are trying to make a profit off of it. So that makes sense from a business perspective, but it's another to just be so ridiculous about the price that you're putting on things versus the quality that you're putting out there that it's just, it makes no sense. Anyways, long story short, I never spent a dime on any of their stuff and I feel just gross just the fact that I'm watching this video because I've already watched this video once and giving her so much revenue already. So I'm about to watch this video again and give her some more revenue. And as you can see, this video is already past 10 million views. So there's, that's a lot of money um, that she's making off of this video, right? And um, claiming that it's going towards some um, cause that I, I don't personally believe. Um, but you know, that's just my opinion. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and watch this with you guys while I paint, uh, because I've been wanting to paint this for a really long time, and I was like, mm, okay, this might be a good time to do it while I'm talking to you guys about this situation, because I'm totally engaged in the drama. Now, I mean, someone, can you imagine how bad the drama has to be for someone that's typically not even watching beauty videos to catch wind of it and now to be completely engaged in what's going on and trying to piece together what happened because that's been me okay I'm not gonna lie like I'm like I've been just kind of like um what's going on like what is the issue and so I've been you know spending a lot of time I shouldn't be spending on social media piecing the story together so anyway um I found this video very disturbing. Um, I think that being that I'm in the um, mental health space, being that I'm in the psychology space, uh, 
there's just still like a lot of things body language wise that I found a little disturbing from this video. And honestly, I was cringing the whole time I was watching it because I was just kind of like, okay, so I hear that this woman, this old lady is like 40 years old. So I'm not sure what I'm watching here, you know? So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I got my wine because I know I'm going to get parched. Okay. Mm -hmm. A long time coming. Oh my God. She cries two seconds into the video. This drives me nuts. Like, what is this? It's like, if you're going to prep for a video and do a video because you haven't done a video in a long time and you want to apologize for something, like, take the time to get yourself together before putting yourself on camera. This, to me, feels like she didn't do that and she's trying to force a cry. Like, I don't even feel like she's actually crying. Like, I feel like this situation blew up in a way that she wasn't able to handle psychologically. And now she's on camera trying to do the most, essentially. I, this is cringe-worthy, I'm sorry. And by the way, I will be fast forwarding through some parts because um, I don't wanna make a 40 minute video. So <laughs> let's just go ahead and watch. I hope I don't forget to paint while I'm at it because it's nuts. For me to share with you, some very, very important things. And I am going to be reading uh, from what is approved by my legal team. So I am, once I start getting into what I need to share with you guys today, what I feel is important. So why wasn't she reading from what it was, what is approved by her legal team before the situation escalated to the point that it is now. This is what I don't understand about the beauty community. There's so much drama. It's like, I don't understand. Like I thought that this was so people could learn how to, you know, make, do makeup and things like that. But from what I'm seeing, um, you know, it's more like a theater class you know, or something. Like, it's like, if you are worth, six million dollars and it's from youtube and your job is doing youtube then surely you already had a legal team when you hit that first mill you know what i'm saying like even a little bit prior to that you probably have some had some type of legal counsel and you um are just now putting something out based on what your legal team says I, you know i'm like okay well it seems to me like she's trying to sue someone but um you know, let, let's just keep watching it. It's just, that's a lot already. Okay. It's a lot already. To share with you, I won't be deviating. And it's um, at the advice of my legal counsel. So uh, there's so much going on on YouTube and in the world. And I just, first off, I do want to request something. Actually, before that, I just want to tell you that I missed you. Oh, my God. Is she crying again? Like, it just makes it seem fake to me. Guys. You know, it just makes it seem so fake. And I'm just like, why are you crying? Lady, first of all, I don't know that anyone was talking about this anymore. Um, people were, are trying to move on. We have the corona out here threatening people, killing people, slicing people down because the corona gives two craps about whatever gummy worms that you're selling and we have um racism out here black people trying to gain rights and equality rights and um trying to make progress in that direction we have starving people in africa like and i'm african so i know um <laughs> there's just so many bigger issues out here and she's crying over some gummies in a youtube page like if she just were to stick to just doing her job she wouldn't have even be in this situation but if she would have just gone back to just doing her job like the next thing would have taken over and she would be fine but she keeps dragging this on and i just don't understand the reason for the tears when you're choosing to actively propel this issue forward it's like move on get over it you know at this point i feel like she's just fired <laughs> That's horrible for me to say. I'm just like, but I'm just so sick of it. A lot. Um, oh. And I'm sorry that you haven't seen me in a while. And I'm hoping that this video clears up a 
lot of the reasons why I felt I could not be online over the past couple of months. Um, I, I have missed making videos and I've missed you so, so much. Um, but I do want to ask anyone watching this that believes in anything higher than themselves, that believes in any higher power, um, you know, all higher power, all God is love and the root of love. And I am a woman. First of all, didn't she say that she wouldn't be deviating? Like, I highly doubt that her legal counsel told her to talk about anything that has to do with a higher power or God. And from my understanding, this, this all started because of some gummies or something like that. And her reaction to that was to get on camera and bash a young kid and try to bring him down, which I watched that video, by the way. So, you know, I did see that video because it gained so much traction and um, it was like all over my YouTube page so um i did see that video when it was out and it was i mean he, that kid he she just tore that kid up so i don't i mean i thought she said she wouldn't be deviating at this point she's just kind of wasting people's time talking about like a higher power in god it's like if you're going to talk about higher power in god then talk about the corona talk about the pandemic talk about africa talk about other countries america poor people in america talk about um things that actually matter <laughs> let's keep going in a faith and i've been praying every day over this She's event scandal whatever you want to name it but not praying about people that are dying people that are losing their jobs and i just ask that you press pause for a moment and even just for 10 seconds, just cover this in prayer because there is so much healing that needs to take place. There was a lot of injustice and there's a lot of truth that needs to come forward, but it is not going to be easy and it's very painful. And I don't wish harm or hate on anyone. And I just want to make that very, very clear. I'm an imperfect person and I do my best to be caring, kind, and loving, and I screw up, and I make bad choices, and I think that we all, right now, we go online, and it's really easy to make terrible choices, even with how you cast a vote on your, uh, what your opinion is of someone's, you know, news story, or, you know, whatever is going on in the world. She could have stopped right there, and it would have been a way better video i feel like people would have received her message a lot better and i think even if you're going to sue someone um i don't know that there's a reason to publicize it unless she's planning to use the comments that are underneath this video as part of the lawsuit because if you're suing someone for like um slander for example you could really take all of these negative comments and say look at the effect that this has had on me on my business my so this to me is more of a calculated move because i honestly feel like look lady if you're if you just had to do this then you could have done it without um wasting our time you could have stopped the video right here and more people would have been more receptive to it personally i stopped following her because she got a little bit annoying i think she's kind of old anyway at this point to be doing what she's doing um and she just keeps dragging it on. It's like, I mean, you're rich enough to find another career if you don't even want to do YouTube anymore. Like at this point, like you've achieved pretty decent success through YouTube. Move on to the next thing, you know? Like, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But let's keep going. World or just anything you see in the media. I'm going to share what I can. Raise your hand if you're looking for flexible work that's actually fulfilling. With VIP Kid, you can teach and inspire kids in China online. VIPKid.com. Teach global. Damn. I'm just mad. And I'm giving her some coins right now. I love you all so much, and I'm grateful for anyone that has um, come here to hear uh, my experience We're of 2019. Five in. So. Get to the point. <sighs> Talking publicly about a wound in my heart that I don't think will ever fully heal is not something I ever wanted to do. I avoided it, 
even though I felt the heaviness of so much disappointment. Until today, I made no comment, and I have made every effort to move through this with dignity. The reality is, every day I've struggled quietly trying to rebuild my now-poisoned reputation. The heartbreak that was born from this scandal still lingers, and I feel it won't ever have the... No offense, but ever since she started um, putting out crap products, I think her reputation started dwindling from there. Like, there was a good amount of people that liked her products because they're followers of hers and um, would support her. I think that number has greatly declined since this video, but... Um, you know, from a realistic perspective, though, I'm kind of like, mm, okay, you have so much money, you can come up with something more original than what you did. And not on top of that, you charged so much for it for subpar quality, in my opinion, from watching reviews and things like that, just comments um, over the years on and off. But nonetheless, I just feel like, just know. Just canceled. I'm not canceled, but at least she needs to find another career. It's time. The opportunity to completely heal until I uncover the truth from all parties involved and their motivation of it all. For over a year now, every time the scandal is revisited, either in the mainstream media or through social platforms, I become the number one target of relentless hate while remaining voiceless. I've lost over a year of my life terrified of social media and terrified of speaking up against the people that used, coerced, and manipulated me into uploading my video. And used, coerced, and manipulated me into uploading my video. Now let me tell you something. <laughs> As someone that is within the field of psychology and mental health, Tati needs, Tati, Tati, Sorry, you guys. Hablo el español, dos idiomas diferentes, and sometimes that accent comes out. Tati needs to go back to counseling because everyone is in control of their own actions. And when you choose to act, no one is forcing you to act. So at the end of the day, you know, it seems to me like she's trying to externalize blame um, in order to push the situation away from herself. And that is a coping tactic that people do when they can't find any other way of actually dealing and processing through the situation. They try to externalize that situation and basically push it on to us, other people or blame other people, right? So what she's doing here is she's taken, she's clearly a person with an external locus, locus of control. And when so, an individual has an external locus of control, basically what that means is that that individual is essentially viewing life, viewing themselves as being um, powerless when it comes to life events and things that happen to them. When an individual has an internal locus of control, that individual is able to take on a lot more um, uh, control and they have a perspective of, I can control what happens to me and I'm the one that dictates what happens in my future. So this is clearly an individual with an external locus of control. Um, and typically there's not one that, one is not better than the other. Right. But however, when it comes to certain situations, it pays to have both skill sets, if possible, not skill sets, but tendencies. Um, because here, I mean, what she needs is a lot more internal locus of control, because at the end of the day, you know, no one forced her and put a gun to her head and said, make this video and post it. I watched that video and her, her body language and everything. She was mad over these gummies like it was like how could you betray me and go talk to like this other company that you know i'm in competition with um and help them with their gummies and you know that i'm i have my gummies out and i've done all this stuff for you like she was upset and so hence she posted that video no one forced her to post the video 
And it's unfortunate because a lot of times these YouTube creators acquire fame, but don't necessarily know how to manage or mitigate through it. Especially um, if you're just like a regular person and you happen to just be around during a, a crucial time when YouTube was first starting and people were start that that was her situation um, where YouTube were first was first starting and she was one of the only ones that was kind of doing it. So she was able to um, pick up from that. It wasn't necessarily like now where everyone and their mom is doing YouTube, right? So, you know, she's just not well versed on dealing with these things and she is clearly externalizing and trying to push the blame. But at the end of the day, look, if you've been silent for months, lady, what the hell are you doing bringing it back up? Move on. Like she had like over 10 million subscribers. Now she's down to nine because she keeps playing games. It's like you you're doing the most like stop you know what i'm saying like so anyways let's keep going may of last year as a result the damage to my health relationships reputation business and general well-being have been enormous the platform that i love i believe her like you know the damage was probably substantial but instead of using all this time to wallow in your um pity party or wallow in your sadness i mean you need to own up to what you signed up for you know i think a lot of these uh youtube creators myself included but a lot of these youtube creators don't necessarily grasp the reality of what they signed up for um until these type of things happen so i think she just needs to understand that she needs to take the good with the bad and this is just the way that it is and she needs to start working on moving forward um and i say that from a good place i honestly think she needs to find another career seems to me like you know she's had her run here anyways love this platform that saved my life and that changed my life has become toxic. And what it needs now more than ever are peacemakers. We need to find our way back to the beginning through forgiveness and leading with love. We need to rebuild a safe place to escape again. Our world. Who is we? No, you need to do that. Like, take your own advice and the advice of your legal counsel. So, if you're actually reading this, like, and it's a part of your legal counsel's um, speech, then take their advice and stop playing games. Like, you're doing the most right now. The world seems to be falling apart all around us, so the last thing you need me to do is fuel more hate by releasing my receipts and voice memos. Oh! But I know many of you... She's starting with a threat. That was a threat. That was a full-on threat. Like, who is she threatening? I'm trying to, I'm like, what's going on? Like, receipts on who, girl? Like, let us know, because now I'm fully invested in the drama all over again. Since the last video I watched a couple of months ago and I forgot all about it, now I'm all back in it. Okay. <laughs> You're needing some answers, as well as a long overdue apology for the role that I played. Oh my God, you're so also, by the way, these are my words. I did write this, and this is from my heart, but I am being careful here, and I think you guys understand why. Back in December 2019, after Shane and Jeffrey's series... I'm confused. I thought that she said that she was reading the words of her legal counsel, but I guess she's reading her words. She's so full of crap. Like, she's one of those individuals that I've never really, truly just... Mm, no. No, it's not adding up, not adding up for me. ended. James Charles came to my LA home with any malice. I did not publicly air any of the horrific accusations that were being made behind the scenes. While I was definitely upset that he had accepted a sponsorship from the biggest rival to my brand, Halo Beauty, I did not make my video because of vitamins. I made it as a result of all of the poisonous lies that were fed to me by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. James Charles' Sugar Bear Hair Sponsorship and all of the drugs. Oh my God, so now it's everybody's fault. 
it's like you made the damn video because of some damn vitamins like you got mad at him because of the vitamins you made the video it's done like you're done you know you know what i'm saying like other people might have been saying things to you about him but that's not i mean no one forces anyone to do anything so guess what you're like 40 years old it's not an excuse you're not a two-year-old so you make the video just own up to it and move on this these these type of things make me so glad that i am not a, like a youtube sensation or some famous person like i'm very much of the mindset of it's better to be rich behind the scenes than rich and famous because what comes with the fame is exactly all of this like everyone else's opinion and um i i'm just really glad i didn't go with like a makeup page you know because those are easier to build up if you go with a youtube makeup page and you do makeup on youtube it's a little bit easier because people are there's so many people that are interested in that that topic um, even till today to build your, um, to build your page off of, if that's something that you're interested in. And I considered it before starting my YouTube doing that as well as combining that with the psychology aspect, but hell no. I was like, I don't like, what would I do you guys? Like I put on eyeliner and, and some eyebrows and I, I go out to work, you know, like, so I was like, it's not for me. So now, but this just makes me so glad to not be a part of that. And that's sad. Drama that had kicked up afterwards. That was just my breaking point. <clears throat> yes, I'm a grown woman. I'm smart, I can usually spot deceit and manipulation a mile away, but my guard was down from being heartbroken and I allowed myself to be worked by Shane, Jeffrey, and others. After my video went up. Okay, so then take responsibility for your actions. Yeah, your heart was down and you let yourself um, be influenced by the more negative thoughts. Then take responsibility for your actions. Like what is, a, what is this 40 minute video for? Like, that is all on you, lady. That is not on anybody else that that happens. So at the end of the day, I'm still confused as to what she's trying to do or what her purpose is with this video. Seems to me like maybe she's trying to sue someone and use this as, you know, proof for her case, um, which further proves how manipulative she is and just how ridiculous like entitled um i don't even know how to describe what this is but it's clear that uh there's a clear stark difference between being smart and being wise and what you needed tati honestly for this particular situation was wisdom which totally like wisdom just flew right over your house and left you way behind like it didn't even it check for you so <laughs> it's like wasn't even in your zip code so i i just i don't understand like oh i'm smart and this and that and and this is what you're doing like months later it's like do you not know how social media works girl that's like the next big thing will take over try to move on the it's been done it's that what's done is done like you did it to yourself and just stop stop it I was never served a lawsuit or any cease and desist letters. I only privated my video at the request of YouTube because YouTube said it was a bad look for their platform. James, I am so sorry that I allowed myself. You guys, I don't know that I would have ever admitted that because that's embarrassing as hell. It's like you're making YouTube money and YouTube is telling you to private your video because we don't appreciate it. That's how embarrassing your actions were because you were into yourself you were like into yourself you were you're super entitled you're super just out of touch with reality and so you you 
what you were honestly thinking is you would put out that video and that would ruin that kid. Like you were honestly thinking because you have this following, you're the one that created him anyway. I'm going to put out this video and I'm going to ruin him. That's what you were trying to do. And that's the honest truth. And you need to own up to that girl. Like either own up to it or stop talking about it because you're just irritating everybody. To be poisoned and weaponized against you. Oh, man. Another With VIP Kids, you can teach and inspire kids in China online. No change. So, I did try to get him involved with my favorite charity, Spirit Awakening Foundation, which helps at risk kids that had found themselves in legal trouble but are trying to change their lives for the better. My intentions with Jeffrey were good, but I was a fool for thinking that I could ever help him become a better person. I mean, Which brings me back. So you're the angel in this whole thing, lady? What are you talking about? I just can't even watch. I'm going to skip it some more, you guys. I'm sorry, but she irks the shit out of me. And talking to me about how Shane Dawson was a big fan of mine and wanted to meet me. But the entire series was quickly changing oh because there was. Oh my god! Are you gonna start crying again, like vampire tears? What the hell, dude? Like this isn't even an actual apology. Like she's crying because she feels sorry for herself. She's not crying because she understands that this was all on her, and she's actually sorry for her actions. She just feels sorry for herself, and no one has time for that. It's like you should have just uploaded a makeup video and moved on something horrible happening in our community with James Charles. He said that James Charles oh, appeared as they had stated would happen and no evidence came forward. As a few people have bravely come forward with more information and the Oh my gosh, you're so full of shit. It's like I try not to question YouTube because I don't want YouTube to harass me but damn, you cannot be this full of shit. It's like damn. Damn, girl. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm enjoying and following the drama that, you know, she reignited. And, you know, what's there to lose for me? You know, all I gotta do is, like, follow the drama and I'm good. So, <laughs> anyways, damn, girl. Mm. The pieces of what we believe actually happened are coming together. Make no mistake, this is far from over. I've been terrified for a very long time, so much so that I had to relocate again two months ago, and I have taken serious. That is true. So I can see that in the fact that um, as, a, a, as someone that um, a lot of people know, like so, so many people know, you can't really stay in your home safely. You know, I, I think it just depends on what it is that you do. But for the most part, you know, doing makeup and stuff like that, you're even more open to it. It's not like you do videos on um, psychological research or mathematical research or something like that, right? So this is like the makeup. It's about makeup and all the stuff that tends to have a lot of drama come with it. So, um she's definitely probably had to move a couple of times because I do not doubt that there are quite a number of people that would literally harm her because there's some real psychopaths out there. And I think that literally when people are just like pissed and you have such a large platform and people, there's so many people from all over the world that have access to you they'll find you, they'll send you threatening mail and all that stuff. And they're liable to really do anything. It's very, very dangerous. So um, I do feel for her in that she's had to move so many times because I would hate to move from my house. Like for what purpose? You know, like fame, it's the fame isn't worth it. You know, I'm good with just, you know, a couple of thousand subbies if, I, if that means I don't have to like relocate every couple of months. So um, I feel for her on that aspect. But again, she kind of is reigniting this whole situation. She propelled it forward, which was her doing in the first place. And it was just childish. She just had this entitlement and she felt like she could bring that boy down. 
and the opposite ended up happening because I checked his YouTube page the other day. That little boy is at like 20 million plus subscribers. And so I subscribed. <laughs> no, actually I subscribed because I watched one of his videos and it was entertaining and I'm all for entertainment. So whatever is going to entertain me, whether it's the situation with this drama or, um, someone making a, a YouTube video that is fun to, to watch or whatever, like I'll sub, I'll sub to it. But, um, especially with this drama, of course I sub to it. I want to see if he says anything, but I don't think he will because he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to at this point. So security precautions to ensure my safety on the advice of my attorneys i cannot share with all of you right now the evidence that we have accumulated of the events that have occurred however there will soon come a day where we will be able to present this evidence and you will be able to see why it is we believe that jeffrey and shane are responsible for so much of the damage that has been caused i can tell you this it's now my opinion that Jeffrey and Shane were both bitterly jealous of James Charles's success. Jeffrey resented that so much of his business was centered around his biggest rival, and Shane did not like that James Charles wanted to make a documentary. Neither of them were happy with standing in his shadow on YouTube anymore. So one thing is clear to me that he's not, I mean, they're not the only ones that were jealous. You were jealous too. And you felt like, again, I'm saying this over and over again, but you felt like you could bring him down because you're the one that made him or how dare he talk to another gummy company or whatever. Gummies that you make that don't even work. There's like a million gummies on the shelves already. Like, did you not know? You know what I'm saying? Like she lost focus of what matters. What matters are your subscribers. They're the ones that are going to buy your product and they're the ones that are buying it essentially because they believe in you, they support you, and they want to see you succeed. She lost sight of that. Like, because at the end of the day, we can go to the store and get gummies. There's like a million gummies at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So why be mad at him for sponsoring other gummy gummies or whatever? Because at the end of the day, it's like, okay, you want him to be loyal to you, but he's got to get his coins too. And it, he's had, so there's something in my eye and my eye is just upsetting. Like, so you, you're mad at him for hustling as well. You're mad at him for developing other business connections and other um, uh, ventures. You know, it makes, it made no sense from the beginning and you just let your pride and you let your entitlement get the best of you. And here we are you know, no regard for other people's, like, she just has no regard for other people's growth. And I feel like she should have really been happy for him as opposed to trying to bring him down. Like if she, if he has other gummy companies and stuff like that knocking on his door, because there's so many gummy companies, like it's not about gummies. Like what gummy have we not tasted before on God's green earth? You know, it's your followers that are buying and supporting your sh your stuff. So you were just, you lost focus, you derailed, take ownership, period. I believe James Charles was gaining more followers and receiving more views and more press faster than anyone in the history on the platform. And it's also my opinion that Jeffrey and Shane needed James marginalized players publicly on it again. To the incredible people who watch my videos because they love makeup as much as I do, I'm so sorry that this situation caused so much pain and frustration. And I it only caused pain and frustration for you. What, what, where, well, actually, it only caused the, it's called, actually, I'm wrong. I take that back. Like, this is painful to watch and very frustrating to watch. <laughs> And had you just moved on, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. Go write a book or something. Go train other people on how to build a successful YouTube channel. Start some other businesses and make money in other ways so you're not stressed out. Because it's really stressful to have to deal with the mouth of other people. My channel is not nearly as big. And I still get negative comments. So you can only imagine. So she's so, she's so, first of all, she's brave for putting something like this out after so long, just bringing the subject back up. So she must, her pride must have really gotten hurt. But 
anyways i never liked i never really liked the lady anyway i feel like she doesn't have enough diversity on her page like i think i've seen like less than a handful of videos with um other races but that's most of the youtube platform when it comes to you know these types of things but um i i you know i think that she's trying to play the victim and she's not the victim i truly miss you all and i'm working really hard to heal myself become strong again so that i can come back to this platform that i hold so dear Oh my god, her crying is so ridiculous to me, especially after wasting everybody's time and actually, like, not actually giving out a real apology. It's like, what's happening here, you know? Anyways, you guys, that's pretty much the end of that. And I have spoken before um, for Voices of the Unheard, where you're giving voice to those who have been silenced and... I mean, is she for real? So now she's trying to seem like this really holy person that cares about giving back, that speaks for other people that are, that have unheard voices. It's like, on what planet do you have a voice that's unheard? If anything, your main issue is that you have a platform and people that are listening to you. That is your problem. That is why you can't be happy with your life. <laughs> your problem is the actual opposite of that. And it's not everything that you need to speak on, on your platform. You need to learn your audience. And at the end of the day, you goofed. And it was goofing in a very big way. But everyone has goofed before, including myself, multiple times. I continue to goof all the time. But don't come here on social media acting nuts and then expect us not to comment on the fact that you sound like a lunatic. <laughs> I'm not feeling it, you guys. Is it just me? I'm not feeling it. I think she's doing the most. Um, no, it's like for people that don't have a voice. Are you high? What do you mean people that don't have a voice? Like you had like 10 plus million subscribers on too recently. That's a lot of people. That's, that's a, a loud voice. <laughs> Anyways. I just want to take this time and like shine a little light on something good. And uh... she said nothing good. Shine a little light on something good. But she just wanted to like trying to make herself seem like Ave Maria. I've been supporting this amazing foundation for most of my adult life. They help kids that grew up in tough situations to reach their dreams and to change their lives. Thank you for listening, and I hope this clears up enough for you to feel like you can forgive me, because that's really important to me. It's not important to you. First of all, this looks super forced like she's literally trying to force herself to shed a couple of tears here um you know her eyebrows aren't even really i don't know she just looks really forced so at the end of the day if you're it's not about words you guys it's about evaluating the meaning behind the words and if your words are saying something different from your actions then guess what I give two shits about what you're saying. I'm looking at your actions. And if you're putting out this video, blaming everyone else, not really focusing on the apology part, you know, putting ads within your video, it's nuts. Like you're not sorry about, you're, you don't want us to forgive you. What you want is to seem like the saint, to go back to feeling like you're innocent, to, um, you know, get the heat off of you that you feel like is on you and was unfairly placed on you. Um, 
it's not about actually apologizing and getting forgiveness from any of your followers, even though it should be because your followers are the most important part. You know what I'm saying? Like those are the people that when you bring out products because they like your videos and your stuff, they'll support, they'll go out and they'll buy, you know, then you can make some coins. You can make a living. <sighs> That's it for me, you guys. I'm done with this video. I wasn't gonna make it. I wasn't gonna make it through commenting through the whole 40 minutes. No way in hell. Um, but you know, she's xed out. She's xed out for me. Honestly, I unsubscribed from all of her stuff because I'm just like, I can't with how fake the intentions are. And she can't, she just can't seem to be real with herself and with her subscribers. And it's just sad. It's like, damn. You know, be real, girl. Um, anyways, that's about it for me, you guys. I will be making a lot more videos like these because I find them so freaking entertaining to talk about this type of stuff and things that happen. My next video will probably be on Kanye West and his famous, <laughs> like he, his running for office and the speech that he recently, recently gave. Um, and I think you'll be surprised to actually hear my thoughts on that, but. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I love you guys so much as usual. Um, thank you for everything that you do and all the support and love that you show. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.